Let's look at generators and image augmentation with PyTorch. Image augmentation basically lets you take images like this one here and augment it. So looking at this image, it's it's a house with a lot of uh, greenery. This is actually bed and breakfast that I stayed at one time with my wife. Very pretty. So we are able to augment it. Like you might want to flip it around, do a mirror image, at least horizontally. Vertically, well, the house is upside down. So I don't know where well, you want to classify upside down houses and that sort of thing. Maybe cameras won't always be perfectly stable on the ground either. So let's look at how we might do this. I'm going to show you some of the, the transformers that PyTorch gives you. And it will basically do a random sort of augmentation to it. So this can greatly increase your training set size, which does give you better training results. So here what we're going to do is we're going to pass in an image file and a transformer. And these transformers just go into your pre-processing pipeline like we've seen prior with PyTorch. So what we do is we are going to display essentially four images that have been transformed according to this pipeline that was passed into it. We're making a grid and we display the four images. So what's happening is you can see it here. This is a grid of four images. It used this transformer. It did some flipping and, and other things as well. So you can see I did go with the upside down house. I guess it's Wizard of Oz. So with, with the tornado in the house. So anyway, here you can see I did random horizontal flip, random vertical flip. And I'm really just showing you what the horizontal and vertical flip use and then the probability of it happening 0 0.5 so 50 50 that's why we ended up kind of with the distribution that we had there we are also going to use other transformers here like we're going to use the random random fine what that does is it, it it's basically moving it to different locations so you end up with some additional padding that you have to do which you can see at the side so that's what the affine Looks like we can also mess with the brightness. You can see that we're using the, the jitter there basically to adjust the brightness between different values. We can also use the random affine to like rotate it around. Again, you get some black in at the edge in the new air part of the image being, being created. So that can be a useful augmentation as well and showing you just more of, of that. So image augmentation, this can be a great technique to get additional training data. Here, I give you a little tool to try some of these transformers out. There's a whole bunch of transformers that PyTorch has. You can pull up the documentation. Do you see all of those? This is, this is what I normally use to play around with the different ones, just to see what they look like so that I can then think about using them for the actual computer vision task that I have at hand. So thank you for watching this video. If this was useful, give me a like. The link to the code is in the description and make sure you subscribe so that you see other installments of this course.